I would like to talk about a problem that I'm trying to solve for one of my applications, um, which has to um, um, notify people at certain times every day at the same time. So this is my supplement tracker app that I've been using as an example that I'm building. And uh, it, has, um, it has a schedule. So basically it's going to alert you if, you know, when, when you need to take uh, um, your supplements, it's basically like a reminder service, right? There are a lot of applications like this. So this is a very common problem. And I've been researching the APIs what is the simplest way the, um, to get started with something like that, to implement something like this. And basically I found that there are two, uh, two fundamental approaches. One of them is to have local notifications and to have push notifications, which come from the cloud. Um, this, uh, the simplest way to get started is local notifications. Not only that, but if, if you do push notifications, uh, um, when I looked at the examples, they have actually uh, also wanted to install local notifications. So clearly the way to start is uh, with is local notifications. So I found a, a plugin uh, that is called, um, let me show you guys. This is called the, um, the Flutter, um, it's called the, uh, the Flutter Local Notifications plugin. Um, this is what you need to install. This is available on PubDev and uh, um, uh, basically it has enough capability to set up a schedule. Um, it's not 100% intuitive how to do it though, because there are, um, there are a lot of examples. If, if you guys go to the uh, plugin page, the Flutter Local Notifications plugin page, and you click on the example tab, this is where I am now, and then you go down, you would, you would think that this is a classic example of a, of a repeat notification. So let's say you search for repeat, and, um, and then you, let's see what you find, repeat notifications. Um, the problem is that, um, let's see, what does it call? This is gonna call, um, yeah, pre periodically show. So basically, um, what you find in the repeat notifications is not what you want. Um, very likely not what you want. That's because when you have a schedule like what I showed, uh, so let me show the schedule again. What you really want is specify certain times and then repeat at those times. But when you look at the example and the material available with this plugin, um, it will show you periodically show when you're looking for repeat notifications. Periodically show will periodically send a message uh, from the current time whenever you issue the call. That's almost never what you want. Um, what you want to do is actually Let's see something called time zone, time zone schedule. So I actually saved an example for this, so I wouldn't have to search for this. This is this is what does work. Let's see um, zone schedule. So there there are a number of methods in this plugin to make it easy to work with it, and there's something called zone schedule. And this is where it gets a little cryptic. What you do is you schedule a message for a certain time, for a certain time, and uh, um, and then then you say match daytime components. And this is where the magic happens. Here, uh, if you look at the examples, and this is where the examples don't quite tell you the full story. Um, when you look at the example uh, for that, 
uh, then it will just it, it will tell you to say um, uh, daytime components time so it will tell you match daytime components daytime components dot time if you do that it won't work so if, if you want daily notifications at certain times like what I want in my app right that's what I want I want daily notifications at certain times uh, that's not what I want I want every day a trigger at those times uh, um, basically daily right and uh, the example that you find is not gonna do that but if you see a match um, a match daytime components day of week and time then it will do that so I actually try this out it seems to be working um, I'm gonna continue um, improving on the solution but I just wanted to share this because I think this is a way to get this kind of thing going if you have this kind of problem if you are trying to create some sort of a reminder app an alarm app that does daily alarms then this is gonna work for you if this content is helping you out please subscribe it will really help me out also, uh, if you ask any questions, if you make any comments, I will answer all of them. Uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Um, the material I will put out on Patreon, I will post the link um, uh, below the video. Just check back in a couple of days um, so you'll be able to access it and set this up for yourself. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.